Okay, uh, more on cryptanalysis. And um, it's uh, probably, well, uh, as I say, um, the implementation uh, details are, are frequently what get attacked because you are frequently um, not sufficiently attending to all of the uh, possibilities for implementation. Uh, and that's, you know, where people attack you is, is uh, where the, the weak links are. Um, implementation uh, details are important. You've, you've got to do uh, encryption properly. Um, well, as a matter of fact, um, I, I suppose uh, that the theme of, of this section might be uh, encrypt properly or don't encrypt at all. Um, if you encrypt, if you don't encrypt, you are, in a sense, you know, possibly compromising one message. But if you encrypt improperly, you may be setting up a situation where um, all of you, you know, you're, uh, you've, you've done it improperly, so uh, somebody can attack the key. And if that happens, then you have betrayed all of your uh, messages and all your friends' messages as well, because you know, you're usually you're sharing a key or something like that. So it's, you know, uh, it is quite, uh, it, it, you know, it's not overstating the, the matter to say that it, at times, if you don't encrypt in, in you know, properly, uh, that it's best not to encrypt at all. So, um... Uh, a couple of uh, possibilities in, in that regard, and, and, you know, the implementation details are one of them. And um, the, uh, possibly the best illustration of this is the um, uh, Netscape. Um, when they first implemented uh, SSL, Secure Sockets Layer. Now, this is, uh, you know, a hybrid uh, system where uh, a session key is... Uh, you're using asymmetric encryption um, to protect the session key, and, and the session key is uh, uh, transmitted and, and protected by asymmetric encryption. And all of this was done uh, pretty much properly... Um, the only shortcoming, really, I mean, you know, they used 128-bit uh, keys, so it, it wasn't the fact that, you know, the keys were uh, too short. Um, it, it was known algorithms and uh, that sort of thing. Um, the thing is, they used uh, as a seed to, to generate the session key, the um, uh, date and time of the computer. Uh, now, there's now there's nothing particularly wrong with with choosing, uh, you know, data on the computer as long as you're, uh, you know, changing it. And of course, the date and time changes all the time. The thing is, there's there's only twelve bits of entropy in that information, which translates to 4,000 possible keys, or just over 4,000 possible keys. And so, suppose that, you know, you're, you're using 128-bit keys, 
but you're not using all of them. You're only using 4,000 of them. So there's all kinds of address space there that is never being used. And it is quite feasible with, uh, you know, computers the way they are, uh, to do a brute force attack on 4,000 keys. Um, you know, it, it's not that hard to figure out the algorithm that they're using to hash that and, and use it as a seed uh, for their pseudo-random number generator. And again, you know, if you uh, use predictable patterns like that, uh, people are, are going to attack them. So, um, there's, you know, there are uh, those kinds of details that have to be considerations. Now, there's, there's other types of, uh, you know, cryptanalysis that's not exactly cryptanalysis. Um, there is, uh, purchase, the purchase key attack, and, you know, just bribing somebody. Um, there is, uh, what tends to be referred to as rubber hose cryptography. You know, you, you threaten somebody. Um, these are, you know, these are realistic means of, of cryptography, and, and so you want to ensure that the people uh, that you are dealing with, that are uh, working with your uh, systems, um, you know, do not, either do not have access to the material, uh, do not have to have access to the material, um, or uh, that they are protected in some way. And, and you know, once again, um, as I have noted in, in other areas of security, um, it, it's amazing how even in, in this very, very technical area, social engineering is something that you have to spend a fair amount of time uh, protecting against in order to ensure that, yes, uh, your systems are protected. Um, so, you know, social engineering uh, is, is a way uh, to get at things. And, and you know, that is, that is part of cryptanalysis. Are there uh, weaknesses in uh, what you give people access to, what they have to have access to, or uh, whether or not they are uh, protected from other types of social engineering. 